Thanks. Thank you. Where, where did you get that uh, that instinct to want to win? <laughs> like, was that, was that when you were yeah. 10, 12? Yeah, like, no, before for sure. then? Yeah, I started running when I was seven. And I, I won that season. I think my next year I was eight, and I was the younger of the two age groups. And I lost, and I bawled. Uh -huh. you know? And my dad had to run down. I was inconsolable because I just wanted to win. And so for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be the best. Uh -huh. um, it definitely comes from my dad, who, <laughs> who I think has always wanted to be the best, too, and everything that he's done. And you know, and when, I remember when I, the first time I cried, my mom was like, you shouldn't cry. But I was like, no, let her cry, because then she won't want to lose again. Yeah. You know? and for, for a long time, I think that has kind of given me that kind of winners and killer instinct has come from when I was a young kid. How do you and how do you dis, de, decipher between like the, the the hate to lose and the the, the will to win? That's a good question. Um, I think they I think they both energize the other one. I think um, for me, a lot of times when I'm racing at the end of the race, I say I refuse to lose. I refuse mm. to lose, and that kind of pulls me forward. And then of course that energy to win is what inspires me to be great. Uh -huh. So I think they kind of feed off the other one, and I think for me in the moment it's a desire it's a refusal to lose that allows me uh, to yeah. to want to be my best and that desire to win kind of helps me in my training you know to go after and want to be the best and, and along those lines like uh, self-talk you, yeah. do you, you, you talk to yourself on the line and in the yes, race yes, and yes. <laughs> and there's something yeah. you've just learned to do over yeah. the years yeah I um, I've learned how to talk to myself in a positive way something that inspires me and pushes me forward but I, I mean as I'm sure you're aware too self-talk sometimes is negative and yeah. you have that monkey chatter that you have to kind of always shield yourself from because that also is that's dangerous slippery slope so I've worked on trying to stay positive mm -hmm. and telling myself positive things on the line, I'm ready to, I'm prepared to be here, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength and I'm a champion and all those things help me to give my best in, in the meets. And is there any uh, youth runners that you see coming up that you, you're really looking forward to, you know, Kaylin Whitney I saw her at yeah. World Juniors, really yeah. impressive. Yeah, Kaylin Whitney, Candice Hill, um, we just talked about Courtney Okolu, who uh -huh. I think is going to be phenomenal. Um, there's some ones that are just turning pro now, Kenny Harrison in the 100 meter hurdles, who I think is going to be, I mean, her and Brian and Rollins are uh -huh. phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a fan of the sport, and I'm excited to see this new generation, Trayvon Brumell, who I train yeah. with down in, oh, you do? in Waco. Yeah, he's um, one of the Baylor athletes, and he's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And I think he has a bright future as well. So Yeah, he's great to watch. I have to watch him in World Indoors and some of the 400-meter runners. Uh, yeah. Spencer, it's very yeah. impressive. So, do you feel like you're a part of that legacy and that you've contributed I do. to it? I do. You know, Trayvon um, came to the track the other day and he said, "Are you really retiring?" I said, "Yeah." He says, "It's not going to be the same." I said, "No, it's not supposed to be the same. Yeah. It's supposed to be different, and you're going to be a part of that." So, I'm excited. You know, I tell him I'm excited to cheer him on yeah. and watch his legacy as he's told me I've inspired him. So, it's really awesome. And how's the, the transitioning to get getting out of a track? Is that going to be? Yeah. A, it must be a hard one. Are you, are you still going to coach, or are you still going to? No, I don't want to coach. I definitely want to be involved in track and field, um, whether it's advocating for athletes mm -hmm. through the IWF or some or the USATF, maybe something on that level. Um, but I don't have any desire to coach uh -huh. <laughs> be on the track every day anymore. Um, and I have some other passions that I'm excited about pursuing as well, like broadcasting and uh -huh. TV yeah. and all I've that fun stuff. Oh. Yes. So we'll be seeing you. You'll be seeing oh, me for sure.